Um, just a quick recap from what you have learned yesterday. So we learned three important things yesterday. We started off with the review or revision about the basic of fundamentals plant requirements. Remember, the allowing formula, air, light, water, nutrients, and growth manner. And these are the formulas that are pretty much used by all scientists, even the NASA scientists, to grow plants in space. Because as long as all these requirements are met and fulfilled, you can pretty much grow the plants anywhere in the, in the, in the, under your table, in the cave, in the space, even in Mars. Because guess what? Gravity is not a requirement for uh, plant growth. Right, and then um, after a short break, we move to get introduced or, you know, to jolt your memory about the photosynthesis. So remember that photosynthesis, the word itself, it shows it's not a simple one process only, okay? We divide the photosynthesis into two reactions, the photoreactions and synthesis reactions. The photoreactions happens in where? What's the location of it? Can you still recall? Come on, Tyler coat membranes. That's correct. So, what are the products for from the photoreactions? You should have three. What are those? ATP and ADPH, and the other one? My product. Oxygen. Okay. The, the oxygen is used by the plant as well, but not that much. Much of it is actually released so that you can breathe and attend this course. Right. Okay. And then the other reaction for photosynthesis, the synthesis reaction, what is the famous popular name for that? Kelvin cycle. So how many phases in Kelvin cycle? Three. What are those? It start with what? Uh, uh, f f f f f what? Fixation. Carbon fixation. And then follow with reduction. And finally, regeneration. And remember, when we talk about photosynthesis reading with this machine, you are referring to the first part of the Kelvin cycle. The carbon fixation. The machine does not measure the reduction rate or the regeneration rate. But for the regeneration, there's a small exception there with a little bit of extra information. We can estimate whether the regeneration is happening in a decent manner or otherwise. Right. Okay. And after, then we went on to have our uh, uh, lunch. Then when we came back from the lunch, what did we learn? Fluorescence. Specifically, chlorophyll A fluorescence. What is fluorescence in the layman word? Glow in the dark. Not grow in the dark. Glow. Glow. Actually, I don't know what do you call glow in Malay. What is it? Bersilau? Hmm. Berlinang? Bersinar? Okay. Bersinar dalam gelap. Hmm. Right. Glow in the dark. Right. So... Um, it's a good measure of plant stress, okay? So fluorescence is the whatever light energy that is not either absorbed or utilized by the plant. It's pretty much photons vomit by the plant. If you have had your lunch with nasi brani and suddenly your friend shove down your throat another three happy meal, you vomit happy meal, right? Yeah. That vomit is equivalent to the fluorescence, not being used or utilized by the plant, right? Okay, so today we're going to move. Uh, I hope you already got your notes, okay? Right, okay. About the equipment, this is the reason we come to this course. Uh, right, see? Nampak tak bersinar? You need to, to, to upper, narrow down your eyes. Then you can see. Uh, you can see the, the stars coming out of it. Right. Okay. 
The name of this equipment is Lycor LI6800. It is, Lycor is actually the name of the company. Lycor stands for Light Corporation. The headquarters is in Nebraska, USA. Okay, although they also have a number of um, headquarters th um, throughout the globe. Okay, they have one in UK, in the UK, they have one in Germany, and I think recently they also have one in uh, Hong Kong. Right, so it's, it's a big company. They have been in the business doing this sort of thing for a very long time. Okay, in fact, our faculty, Faculty of Agriculture, Faculty of Science, Forestry, we have been using this version of LICOR since over 20 years back. Okay, this is the new, the latest version, 6800. Before this, it was 6400, right? Even though this is the, the new version, it has undergone the facelift. I think this is the third facelift. You know, like your, your Honda, your buy, buy Honda, right? There's a facelift for it every, every two years or so. So I think this is the, the latest one this year. That's the, a bit old. I think you, can you tell the difference? Ani buruk. <laughs> right, okay, so what, what exactly is uh, this thing do? The full name of it is Portable Photosynthesis System. When, when the name is given in such a way, you know that it's mobile, okay? You can bring it to anywhere that you like. You can, you can do it in your lab. You can use it in, at the farm, or you, you can pretty much bring it to the International Space, if you wish, right? Because it's portable. So the simple concept how this thing works is, is to measure the difference in CO2 level or concentration and also H2O, right? It uses infrared gas, you see, um, this, the name, IRGA, ERGA, Infrared Gas Analyzer. Actually, that's, that's the beginning of this kind of machine. So I'm not saying that this is the only photosynthesis instrument in the world, but regardless of the brand or the type, all are actually in a way is ERGA, Infrared Gas Analyzer. It analyzes gas, what gas? H2O and CO2, right. The special thing about this is the one that we have here, this is the full spec. So there are many levels for this, depending on your budget. The one that we have here is the full spec because you can measure fluorescence. The, the thing that you see here, this is called fluoro chamber. If you are a bit on budget, maybe you have a lower version for this, you're going to have a slightly uh, different looking chamber, all right? So we would like to get um, familiarized with this uh, general function as well as uh, the components of the instrument itself. So let's, let's get started. Um, the capability of this machine, right, there are four. They are called survey measurements, chlorophyll fluorescence, resp uh, response curve, uh, and, 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 and also like a custom, custom measurements that you can use. Maybe sometimes you, you have a specific uh, environmental factors that you would like to manipulate, then you can use this machine because this machine is basically a chamber can open that, it's a chamber. The moment this chamber is closed, why the leaf is being clamped in here, this is a world. A world that you can control, what is the temperature like? What is the, 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 the light? What is the wind? What, 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 what is the stress, the pressure that the leaf is experiencing? It can be of the current situation that you are experiencing now, or it can be somewhere else. Maybe you want to know, can my rice plant survive in Italy? 
you get the information of the Italy environmental conditions and you set it to mimic the Italian climate. That's possible. Or even if you want to um, a bit fancy, you want to travel somewhere in the future because you know in the future the CO2 is going to read about 500 ppm. You do not have the time machine, but you have this instrument. So you, you mimic the theorized CO2 concentration in 2050 to be experienced by the leaf clamped within this chamber and that's possible. Okay. So it's a very powerful machine. In a way, uh, doing the simulation, doing the instantaneous measurement or any anything that you wish you would like to know. All right. So it's rather powerful in, in, in that sense. <clears throat> Right, so we're going to um, see the components of that. This here, Oy. my my muscle a bit of at atrophy today. And na 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 this is called the console, okay? The console, this is the CPU. You got all the RAM, all the controller in here, okay? And the second part is the connecting cable, communication cables, as well as the gas tube. So this is the electrical uh, communication cables, and this is the gas tube. They, they are um, wrapped, wound up together. And the third part is the oops, the sensor head. This is the head. Okay, this is the sensor head, and this is the measuring chamber. Right, you you can't control anything in here, but these are filled with lots of sensors. You got light sensor. Remember the ergot earlier, the infrared gas analyzer is also in here. If you dissect open this chamber, you're going to see that there are mirrors there, there are gold wall in here, because uh, gold is a very good uh, electrical uh, conductor, right? Yeah. So if you, if you own this, you've got lots of gold actually. Right, okay. So, those are the three important parts. Let's see um, the first part, the, which is the console. This thing here. So uh, the consoles have multiple facets, multiple faces to it. So I'm going to start with the first, first side of it. So one of the side, this side, this is um, what we call as the uh, cable side or the or the power side because this is where all your cables go in and also the air for this gas tube to go in okay so all the connection including the power button all in in this side right and you move to the second another side this is the chemical side, way at the back. This is the front. The front is nothing, just the logo of the Lycor. And this is at the back. This is called the chemical side. There are four columns. Why, why is it called chemicals? Because it's meant for various things that you can use to control the photosynthesis of your plant. That starts from, um, from your right, my left, from this. All the way to here. So on this first column is the what we call as CO2 mixer. So you fit it with the CO2 cartridge so that you can give CO2 to your plant because remember you learned yesterday CO2 is the substrate for photosynthesis. So that's the CO2 source and then you followed by the, the second one which is called the desiccant H2O scrub, which is which guy? This guy. This is a desiccant. The function of desiccant is to remove moisture from the incoming air before the air arrives in the chamber. 
Why? Because the one of the ability of this machine is to control relative humidity experienced by your simulating chamber, right? If it doesn't scrub the air out of any water vapor, the control would be very difficult. So the way it works is it scrub the air first, completely free from any water, and then it will add later at known amount. That's how it works. So this is the second. Um, there's a two types actually. So this one is called dry right. The reason it's blue, it, it's got color indicator. It contains cobalt blue. When it's completely dry, has not absorbed any amount of moisture, it's blue. But the moment it has absorbed a moisture, it will start to turn pinkish or purplish, that kind of color. You might want to ask some help if you are colorblind. Right, because, because you know some, some people are colorblind, right? They're not, not sure. Because the, the physical of this doesn't change. It's just a, it's, it's got color indicator to it. But if it's the latest version actually, this is no longer used because it's a bit expensive. And in the past, the custom immigration kind of having lots of questions with this. So now we can use this silica bits, or silica gel, or now the name is uh, sorbet orange. So it's got the orange color. When it's dry, the moment it has absorbed the moisture, uh, it's going to be colorless. But regardless of whether you use the uh, desiccant from dry right or silica gels, they both, in a way, can be regenerated, meaning that after they have become exhausted after your intensive use, you can generate them by uh, placing them in the heated oven, right? But for, for this guy, you need to use, I think you need to use a higher oven, about 1240 degree for a few hours, about four hours. The maximum regeneration is three times only. And that's it. Now you need to throw it away. To throw this away, don't simply throw it into the sink. You need to ask for uh, the lab assistant this, how do you want to dispose this, okay? For this, um, well, it depends on the climate, actually. Sometimes you can regenerate only one time. Sometimes, sometimes you can regenerate for two times, right? But you still can regenerate this, so it's good. Right, now we move to the third column, which is the um, humidifier column, this column here. column here. <coughs> I need to bring this. I forgot this is wireless. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's got a slide here. No worry, no worry. I'll come back to that. Right. So this is the humidifier column. And we just fill in with water. Not any water. It has to be the best is distilled water, demineralized water, or deionized water, or just go to the Kekema and get RO water. The reason you don't want to use any mineral water in here or tap water because uh, you don't want any mineral deposition to happen in this tube. When that happens, yeah, it's gonna get ugly. Don't do that, right? And finally, is the fourth column that would be the um, soda lime. This is to scrub CO2, okay? To scrub CO2 so that you, your machine can control the CO2 given to the chamber in the precise manner. The same concept as the uh, dry right and the um, uh, so, uh, this guy, the humidifier. So you got your water source, you got the water scrub. You got the soda lime CO2 scrub. You got the CO2 sauce. It's pair, see? Because these two things are what's important to the plant now. Yeah. You don't care about the nutrients. No, 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 no. The plant is still uh, intact to the main body. The plant is still alive. Right, okay. So, 
So this, this is the console here. Oh, no, not the console, sorry. This is the, um, the sensor head here. Um, even though this is quite robust, you need to protect this at all costs. Okay, don't, don't bang it against any hard surface and so on. And there are many parts that have the, this accessory and small thing that you need to worry about. Right, so let's start from here. So can you see the spongy thing here? This is called the gasket foam. This gasket foam, um, you don't have to change it all the time, but if you have been using it for quite some time and it feels like highly flattened, it's time to change, okay? When you remove this uh, gasket foam, it's going to leave some glue residue on the surface of this metal. Use alcohol and tissue, 70% alcohol, rub um, gently to remove the glue residue. The reason is, if you don't remove the glue residue and then you put new gasket to stick on it, this glue residue, the old glue residue, will create microscopic pores from which leakage can happen. And you don't want that to, hap to, to, to happen, okay? So do that, and in, in the chamber here, yesterday you already saw that there are many types of light. How many lights? Can you, do you still remember how many lights are in here? One, four, okay, what are those? Blue, blue actinic, lagi, red actinic, red modulating, number four, far red, okay, what's the wavelength of far red? What? Seven, three, four, three, five, okay, right, that's good. That's the top of the chamber. The bottom of the chamber X is actually, you, you, can, you can see later. This is the thermocouple. This is the, the, the sensor that measures the temperature of the leaf. And therefore, it has to touch the leaf at all time while the leaf is in chamber. However, please make sure that the thermocouple, because this thing is super sensitive and easy to break. It is not too high, just enough for it to be uh, as level as the gasket foam, right? Because you can control this to be slightly up or down, okay? And it's very springy, right? To, to accommodate your, your leaf. The leaf sometimes is flat, sometimes it's undulating. So the springy thermocouple is designed to deal with it, right? Okay. So, I forgot to mention, in addition to light in here, there's also a light sensor in here. So, for this um, sensor head, we, we have two light sensors. The first light sensor is in here. You can't see you. We need to uh, pry open, but we're not going to do that. The sensor in here is called the gallium sensor. The other light sensor is on the outside, this guy here, the one that's covered in the red cap. This one is the silicon light sensor. Oh, can I open? Yep. Can you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> if you remember from your uh, yesterday's slide, it's, it looks kind of like your retina, your rod cells, cone cells, this thing. Yeah. Right. Okay. And then there's also a small display under the handle here. And this display, the... Uh, tells you the, uh, the summary of the display in the main interface here. The current CO2 level, the H2O, the temperature. So there's a controller here that you can play. When it's turned on, that you can see um, a bit closer later. Right, and at the bottom here, you have this adapter of which you can use to connect to the Tripod. Tripod here, right? Okay, so we'll see you later how to how to connect that. Yep. 
Okay, let's moving on. Oh, another one. This is where all your cables will, will go in. Your, your gas, your gas tube, and also your signal cable, right? You will see later when you come uh, closer, there is a, a red dot here. So you go in, do not use brute force to plug it in. When the dots are matched, they will go in just like click. This is the sound that you're looking for. Right. right. So that's the front of it. Yeah. Um, this is actually the air ventilation. So you can, you can see that. Um, if you are familiar with the previous version of LICO, the clamp comes with a reg regulator, the screw, to make it tighter and looser. But this one, no, it's all in one go. So this spring will control how much torque will be given to ensure that the leaf is properly clamped, right? Right, so that's the connection. Okay, I don't want to do the connection. Actually, this is where you comes in. So what? <laughs> so what? Okay, um, maybe maybe uh, one uh, one or two people can come to help this group and the other group. Okay, I'll I'll just give the verbal instruction and then. Uh, the demonstration will be done here. Okay, I'll, I'll stay here in the in the middle. So, someone help this this bench. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, half here, half here. Yeah, I'll give the instruction verbally in the middle, and then you you can do it yourself. Or, or somebody will, will assist you to do it. The assistant, as long as much, let them to do it. You just do the instruction. Okay? So, number one, connect the connecting cables from the console all the way to the sensor head. Can, can you show? Tunjuk. Bagi dia buat minta apa. Tapi tunjuk sahaja. Siapa nak buat dalam ni? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. And this as well. Marking. Ah, ten. The red dot. Yep. 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 You can refer to the diagram how to connect if you're not sure. Okay. Okay. The the, um, the other free you can use to connect. You want to connect? Go. This should go here, red dots, and this is the gas tube. Make sure the you hear the click sound. Okay, all good. Right. Okay. Once you're done, make sure that this is not twisted or in any way, because you you will hamper the gas movement. So try to relax the cable as much as you can. All right. Okay. How about this group? Okay. Yeah, all the way in. All the way in. Yeah. Masuk saja. Ah, bagi dia punya klik. Okay. Right. Both groups, okay? Done? Done. Okay, we we move next. Next is to do the preparing the column sample. Let's start with filling in the column, okay? The desiccant column. Find the desiccant column and fill in with the with the chemical. I think ini kena kosongkan dulu bagi dia dia fill in yang baru. Dokas. Sekejap eh. Haris, uh, chemical lama kena buang dulu. 
bagi air itu pun buang, itu pun buang bagi uh, isi yang baru. For the purpose of this activity, we will use fresh chemicals to fill into the columns. Do you have container? Can you find container? A beaker or something? I think they got a bunch of beakers at the back. We're not going to throw this away. This can be used later. Uh, right. Buang eh? To is tunjuk? Yes. So, so, yeah, yeah. This is the new version. Yeah, but it's uh the this is not the facelift. That one is the facelift. One of the difference is actually the screen here. This screen is less um hardened compared to the newer version. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the glare is reduced for the newer version. Yeah. And this this material, the gasket. You can see that this is this is um what do you call it? Foam gasket. That is special material. It's called neoprene. Neoprene. So it's a bit more spongy and, and um, it doesn't damage the leaf as much if the leaf is hardened. But this one, it might not be suitable for oil palm leaf. Yeah. For a salad plant, that, that's fine. Yeah. Right. So is it empty now? Okay. Let's refill the, this column, the desiccant column with this um, sorbet orange. Sorbet orange. Use the sorbet orange. The column contains two compartments. You need to fill it um, simultaneously so that both sides get filled in equal manner. Kenapa? <laughs> All right. So while she's doing that, maybe the other persons can take the the other column, which is um. Ini tadi kolam apa? Soda lime ke? Yeah, you can. Yeah. So you can fill the soda lime. And the other person can use this to fill in with the RO water. Ask for the, um, can, is it any RO water? Coming, coming, yep. No, 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 don't do that. It has to be filled. Jani. Use this to, to guide. Why are that Um, Because we don't want the, exhaustiveness of the chemical to be uneven. Otherwise, we're going to waste the chemical later. The chemical, as you use the equipment, it's going to get exhausted over time. If you fill it in such a way, which is uneven, one side is going to be used more than the other side because the gas is going to move through it. That's too much. You need to fill in up to this point, actually. There's a line there. This line. You can see the fill line here. For for any chemical, the so the soda lime and also the the desiccant, right? Yeah. I, I I think that's why that's why that's why that's why. So, and then this is for the water. Anybody want to fill in the water? Ah, you see. Remember, okay, this is distilled water or RO water. Do not use mineral or tap water. And make sure that you use the right column. It's, it should be the humidifier column. Uh, Eh, air takkan salah sebab dia ada apa tu? Dia ada tiup lain kat dalam. Dia ada bentuk dia. 
Uh, uh, that's why we put label. Yeah, yeah. So that is humidifier column. You can see there is a it's called nephion tube. Kat dalam tu. Nephion tube. Yeah, yeah. So confirm that's meant for humidifier. Okay. How's this group doing? Okay. Once you're done, we, we go to the scariest one. <laughs> the scariest one is... Mana? Kau tak ada kat sini? Oh, tak ada kat sini. The CO2 canister. Kau nak buat? That, that thing needs a, a bit of skill if you're first time. Tengok lah buat macam mana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if the previous chemical has fully exhausted, you can change it to anyone. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, that's why it's got the color indicator because sometimes maybe the the the, the, the column only um, seventy percent exhausted, but you can still continue using. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> I, oh, one is the color indication, the other the machine will tell you. Because uh, when you start the machine, you need to do warm up. During the warm up, the machine will run everything. If one column, chemical column, is not doing very well, the machine will tell you, now is the time to change. Mm. One of the uh, chemical column, everything. Oh, no, no. This one, no. This one, you can change as needed. Yeah, and they are independent from each other. Yeah, maybe one is slightly older, this one is new. It, that's fine. It, it, it doesn't impair measurement in any way. Yeah. Uh, just, uh, the warm -up and yeah, yeah. Use the I, either the color indication or the warm-up. Sometimes the warm-up, uh, it tells that, oh, you need to change your CO2 cartridge. But actually, the CO2 cartridge, we know it's going to be a big problem because we, we buy third party. Uh, the third party, the pressure is less. The machine expects more. Uh, if you're using the Lyco one, uh, that can go very high pressure. But if you use the third party, you can buy the one that people use uh, playing paintball or fizzy drinks maker. All right. Okay, dah tu, can you screw in? Can you screw in now? In ini. Right. Okay, screw in. Uh, install CO2 cartridge. CO2 cartridge. Uh, uh, what, 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 what? Okay, once, once, you, once you're done, I, I think it's just stuck at uh, Just install. Tunjukkan dia orang? Macam mana? You need to properly go in, lock it. Okay, in install all chemical columns. So you should have four columns now. Ah, uh, ah, masuk kan kunci terus. Tunjuk dia macam nak kunci benda tu. You need to lock it in. Okay. What, what happened? Masuk kan lain tu. All chemical columns. Lock it in. Oh, pasal. 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 Oh, 
Okay, is everybody done? Everybody done? All done? All good? 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 Okay, make sure that you have four columns attached now. Okay, if you're done, we can turn on the machine. Okay, this group, are you done? Are you done this group? Hey, masuk, masuk, masuk dulu. Tak boleh, tak. If you're not done, you cannot turn on the machine. You need to be done first. Oh, battery tak masuk lagi, lupa. You need, oh, forgot. The, the battery side, you need to, um, is it the battery first? So this is the battery. This battery, pretty much looks like your uh, power bank. It has an indicator as well on the side. Yeah, right. So, tunjukkan macam mana nak masuk battery. Tunjukkan masuk, macam mana nak masuk battery. Uh, so, <laughs> okay, battery on the one of the side, on the on the right or left, depending on your position. <laughs> When when you first bought the machine, it comes with three packs of battery, okay? But the equipment only need to use two. And it can charge while the equipment is being used. Okay, battery good? Good? If you're good, you can... Uh, wait, that's another one. I forgot. Another final side of this, which is at the bottom. Angkat. So, the bottom of the console, there is a... Yep, that hole, little hole. That can go in where? Yeah, if you want to put it on the tripod. But for our activity, we're not going to use it. So, if you have two tripods, one can go here, one can go here. So easy for you to use if you have two or three operators while using this. But for now, we're good to go. All the cables are connected. Right. Turn it on. Switch it on. Ah. Okay. Semua ni kan? Ah, switch it on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 no need, no need, no need, no need to remove, no need to remove. It can last for eight hours because it's a small one. The the old version, uh, twelve gram CO two. This is only eight grams. Hmm. Okay. So while waiting for the machine, you can see that. Next to your columns, there are ports, the Ethernet ports and also the USB ports. Okay, can you see that the ports, the Ethernet ports and USB ports here? Later, we use this to transfer data. Right? Okay. <laughs> Wireless tunggu apa li enam ribu sembilan ratus. Because very very old. <laughs> Itu baru. Ini baru dapat tahun ni. Ini hmm, tak tahu. <laughs> okay, tunggu jaga grup ni sebab uh, mesin mesin pinjam. Alright. By right, the moment the machine is on, it's fully loaded, you should be doing your warm-up. But because we need to learn first, uh, we, don't, we do the warm-up uh, af after we have been introduced with the, this thing, environment tabs. So, when you see the interface now, 
this interface has two kind of tabs the top tabs and also the side tabs so the top tabs you have the startup constant environment photometry measurement low up setup programs and tools and when you press the uh, each of these uh, tabs on the top it will bring down another different set of menu so press the environment tab so that you have all of this menu so that you can see the flow h2o co2 fan temperature and so on right okay let's see because environment is the things that you set to be experienced in the chamber right right so let's let's start so let's start with the flow with the flow flow is actually the amount of air that you allow to move in this uh, entirety of this um, erga okay so there is a speed there that's the speed so the speed you can manually set or automatically set so it is suggested that for this machine if you're not sure just set the flow to 600 micromole okay so can you set it over here you need to press press on the screen the, the screen is uh touch screen yeah yeah and then the other thing that you can set under the flow tab is this um over pressure which is i think it looks a bit old oh yeah over pressure over pressure, just keep it to 0 0.1. Over, over pressure. This, this slide is a bit old. This has been updated. Over pressure. Over pressure is to prevent leakage of airflow from out to get in. So we over pressure it. No, don't get in. Right. Right. So these are all the things that you, you can set within the uh, flow control. Then the second tab is the H2O. So make sure that it is turned on. And this is the reason you put your humidifier in the second earlier. You see? Right. Now you can set it as well. Uh, we can save time by setting it now. You can set your um, H2O. Uh, oh, sorry, RH uh, here. Just, just turn, turn it to uh, 60%. Or sorry, she said, okay, you can change it. Uh, make it 65. What machine is more than Right. Okay. Uh, 55 bullet, 65 bullet. Okay. This is important. Okay. Please listen up because we are dealing with Poco Tropica. For tropical plants, do not, you need to ensure the um, RH no below than 50% because when it's below 50% the stomata are going to close stomata close no gas exchange photosynthesis not happening right so the safe value for RH for our tropical plant 60% why I say tropical because if you go to London 50% uh, RH is normal for them we are very humid right humid and sticky right okay and and these are all the things that you control just because today you learn to control the RH air RH air means the RH in the chamber in the measuring chamber doesn't mean that you can't change in the future other things because this machine is very highly customizable Depending on your research, if you are a more experienced in the future, you can change the amount of water. Maybe that you want to see, oh, I want to deal with water of uh, 25 millimole. You can do that. Why? Because you, it comes with a humidifier. Right, right. Or you want to change now? Yeah. Water sauce. Water sauce. Yes, yes. When you set one thing, the others will be will be not uh, in control. For example, when you set RH, other things will follow 
whatever it takes to achieve the RH that you set. Yeah. If you set your H2O, let's say that you set it 25 millimole, you don't have say anymore what RH will be. Yes, yes. For simplicity, usually we go for RH air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is this is the thing that you learned in the in the foundation uh, yesterday. But if you're interested to to do other things which is more more advanced, for example, the VVD breath breath for pressure deficit, maybe you are doing your experiment in uh, Gurun Sahara. You want to use want to see how how your plant going to respond. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, let's go next. The CO2. Ah, you have installed the CO2 column, right? Let's set now. CO2 here. Okay, I would like to highlight important point here. The concept of reference and sample. This is very important, so pay attention. Reference means whatever the console gives to the chamber. Meaning that you decide beforehand what the plant will experience. Sample is whatever balance or remnants that the plant has used up and then the sensor remeasure again. Right. So for example, maybe the reference here, if you set 400 ppm, your plants might not receive entirely 400 ppm after a few seconds because it's going to use up very fast, right? But if you set your sample to be 400 ppm, the machine will ensure that your plan will constantly based in 400 ppm, meaning that you set here 400, definitely this one will become higher because it takes into account the usage by the plant. So that's that's the concept. So what do you want to set here? Um, I, I just quickly mentioned here, uh, if you want to see the current CO2 for our planet, you can go here. Is this connected to the internet? Yeah. Right, so if you go to, you know Mauna Loa? Yep. So, hari ini, ni berapa cakap ni? August 5th. August 5th. So, it's about 431. So, it's a bit lower than last month. So, if you want to be precise with your uh, CO2 setting, you can go to this website and check the current um, CO2. So, if you set 420 to 425, that is accepted. Yeah, I advise not to set 400 because 400, 10 years ago, it was correct. Now, I don't think it's, it's, it's longer um, in, in correct. Okay? So, what is this actually? You know Mauna Loa kat mana? Ah, mari kita tengok Mauna Loa ni kat mana. Ah, that's Mauna Loa. <laughs> tak adalah. Dekat, dekat, dekat sini. Dia dekat Hawaii. Ni, kat sini. Ah, you know Hawaii? Ah, ni Hawaii. Ni Hawaii. Hawaii is one of the states in, in America. So, Mauna Loa has this many uh, volc 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 volcano mountain. So, they have this one observatory in one of the mountain. So, this observatory is above any pollution line for our whole planet. So, no asap from any roti garden lori going to affect it. Yeah. Even if you cough it's not going to affect it. Nothing. Even if suddenly there is a, a pembakaran hutan terbuka, open burning, not going to affect it because it's above the pollution line. So that's why the observatory is here. Or maybe I can put observatory. I think there's a picture there. Observatory. Yep. Are closed. Dua ada gambar kat atas ni. I think it's good. Ah, me. Oh, see? So happy. This, this, <laughs> this is about 2,000 meters above sea level. Right? I, I know this because my, well, uh, some of my friends uh, come here to do, to do, to do some work. Uh, all right? Okay. Let's, let's come back to reality. Um, 
Set a malik. Okay, CO2 has been set. Right. Uh, have you set it? Okay, can you set 420, whatever that you saw already, 25? Uh, set 425 for reference. You can decide whether it's a reference or sample. Sample boleh, reference boleh. Apa beza? If you do photosynthesis measurement, if you set reference, your photosynthesis reading is going to be quicker. But if you set for sample, the reading will be slightly slower to get, but it will be more accurate. So there's a time sacrifice there. If you don't mind about time, set for sample. If you, are, you want to do rapid measurement, set for reference. Both are correct. Nobody going to say that you're wrong. Yes, yeah. Whatever, if you if if you based on Mauna Loa Observatory, they say that in 2055 is going to be 550. Just change it to 550. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's the simulation capability of this machine. Yeah. So that means once we change and then we can use it to simulate and predict whether the plant is going to behave in certain way in the future. Yeah, sometimes our current variety not ready for another 30 years. So that's why you need to do the variety development throughout the time. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes you have this one variety, it's good for four decades. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I go into the category climate ready plant. Yeah, yeah. Climate ready plant. Um, other candidates, tapi rasa tak release lagi kot. Yeah, 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 especially corn, betul. Yeah, corn, yeah. Banyaknya cereal lah, cereal, cereal. Buah-buahan semua ni orang tak kisah sangat. <laughs> yeah, because uh, both humans and animal consume. Jadi cereal ni kena bagi perhatian lebih sikit. Rice jugalah, tapi rice ni dia slow sikit. <laughs> Alright, okay. Alright, you done with that? Can you go to the fan? Hey, 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 hey! Go to the fan. Kipas, kipas. Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you fan of anyone? <laughs> kipas susah mati. Hard die fan. <laughs> okay, this relates to the lesson that you um that you learned yesterday about the boundary layer. Okay, boundary layer on the surface of the leaf. Let's say that this is your leaf. This is the reason why God create wind, not for you to heal by the beach. No, no. So set the fan to be uh, ten thousand RPM. You can control it to be lower, but I suggest ten thousand uh, RPM because so far that's the best. This will ensure that the boundary layer is continually broken so that gas exchange can happen smoothly. Right? Okay. Boundary layer is a big issue actually, especially um, in the plant factory. You know, plant factory, the, the air doesn't move very much, right? It's, and then you have uh, 10 levels of, of salad. That's, that's quite, quite a fit to, to move the air. You cannot hire some and don't come and blow it on on daily basis. <sighs> Take shift, uh, blow lagi. So, turn on the fan. All right, ten thousand RPM. Next, next is the temperature. Okay, temperature. You got different kind of temperature sensor in there. The one that I showed earlier, the springy thermocouple, that is to set tea leaf. Tea leaf. Tea leaf. You see here. Yeah. Yeah, tea leaf. So I'll just explain for now. HT means what? T exchange is the block temperature, this thing. The temperature of this body here. That's T exchange. T air is the air coming from here and all the way into the chamber. That is T air. Suhu udara yang sedang bergerak tu. Right? And the other one is tea leaf. Tea leaf is the sensor reads, the springy sensor, the thermocouple just now. So which one do we want to set? Okay, again, there is a secret whether you are time sensitive or not. 
If you want to work fast, you lose precision. If you want to be precise, you need to invest a bit more time. The, the quickest is T exchange. That's the quickest. But it can be a bit inaccurate for the uh, plant temperature control. All right. I highly suggest just set the TF for most of the time. You only control the temperature of the moving air in the system. All right. How much can you set? Okay. Now what's the temperature? Let's say that because we are indoor and aircon, right? Let's say that now it's 26, 25, 26. This machine in, in this body here got a special thing. I mentioned yesterday, the Peltier device. The Peltier device can go plus minus 10. It can go as high as 35. It can go as low as 15. If the current temperature is 25. Right, but bear in mind, it is a lot easier to heat up the machine rather than to cool it down. Right, so uh, for simplicity, maybe we just um, set it to be 28. Yeah, yeah. Ni 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 block ni block ni block block ni. Sebab itu dia paling senang. Sebab control ini di badan dia saja. Yeah. The slowest if you set tea leaf. Tea leaf is very slowest because the machine will do whatever it takes in order to ensure that the leaf is the temperature that you desire. So that's what we do. It will turn the not not that it will turn on the pel a pelter device. It will turn on all the fan and everything. Yeah, and then it will get super noisy. Right, and we don't want that because your friends already noisy. <laughs> T air, T air. And most publication uh, will not question you further. So, but TNA, uh, that's, that's the, the uh, accepted practice anyway. Betul. Yep, udara, um, the, the one that is bathing your leaf sample. Right. Okay. Yeah, the last answer though. So, udara tu datang dengan gas tube. Remember, you connected gas tube earlier? So, gas tube that coming to the chamber that temperature will be controlled if you set the T air. Right. Okay. The other one, which is the final one, is the light. Okay. You can turn on this, this thing, the light. You need to uh, tap on the fluorometer because this is the full spec. The light here. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Fluorometer. Yeah. So, um, I want, I want, I want, I want to set now. Is it possible to connect benda ni terus? Sekejap ya. Connect, connect terus. If, um, two minutes, we'll just connect so that I can con um, see on the screen what's happening with that. In the meantime, any question up to this point? All good? All good? Yesterday, when it comes to light, remember you learned about light quality and light quantity. Now is where you use your knowledge about light to apply. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, carbon dioxide is modulated with the known value. You still get all the nitrogen and water vapor. If 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 suddenly um kokentuk kat tepi tu your methane going to come in in here as well uh, because there is no methane scrubber yeah so um, other gases are not modulated the ones that modulated is water vapor gas and co2 only two gas modulated but can can you modulate oxygen actually you can if you connect this actually at the back here ada the rasio sebenarnya kat belakang ni apa tak ni this thing, ada satu lagi air, air inlet boleh masuk kat sini juga. You can connect it to the tank. And that tank may be oxygen only 2%. Uh, if if you use that, that is a, a photo, photorespiration suppression experiment. Uh, boleh, boleh, boleh. Some, some, some people, they connect to the tank. They don't want air from the room. 
because they want to study um, the effect of the nitrogen and rich air to the plant. Now our nitrogen is about I don't know seventy rubber. Uh, so yeah, so they maybe maybe they want to know what happened if higher nitrogen or what happened if lower nitrogen. Boleh juga, boleh juga. So tak 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 boleh tak boleh. Cuma cuma kadang kadang dalam daun dia dah kena infect dengan microbes yang boleh convert. Yeah. Yeah, dia dah boleh convert. So, maybe something happen. I don't know. So, yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah. 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 Ini kita kena restart dah head. So, dia tadi dia tak connect. Dia tak connect? Dia tak detect dah head. Oh. Uh, restart lah. Oh, connect sana? Connect, connect sini. Itu mesin tua. <laughs> Apa? Uh. Maintenance. Maintenance. Um, uh, dua tahun sekali. Kalau tak ada apa-apa, recalibrate. Oh. Recalibrate. Uh, uh, dua, dua. This, this two. The other one is uh, tengah tak sihat. So the the company uh, lend out uh, this unit. Sekeja. Ah, uh, yeah. So we have two lah. Uh, uh, fakulti hutan ada satu. Yeah, fakulti hutan. Uh, from, from this one, yeah, ni yang dia dipinjamkan daripada company. Company. Ah, uh, this one. We we have to one one is not doing well, so we send it back. Ah, uh, this is a new one. Ah, uh, how how old? Dia datang bulan lima. <laughs> baru 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 baru. Yang itu ah twenty twenty. Oh twenty nineteen. Ah tua dah lah. How's that? Okay. Um, while that being restarted, kita tunggu jaya. This group tengah restart. Okay. What time now? Okay. Um, I I think we can continue after a short break. Oh, it's about half past twelve. Uh, then when when we come back, we see how to set the light, and then we do the warm up. Boleh ya? Boleh ya? Okay. You can control using the computer now. It's connected. If you want. You can you can control it here. Whatever whatever I do here, it will happen there as well. So if I want to check the light, should be that. Send off. Yep. All right. Okay. So we can set the light. Uh, using maybe some some of. Want to set it? I'll just give instruction here. So number one, you need to turn it on. Press turn it on. Eh, kejap group ni mana? <coughs> kejap ya. Eh? Okay, turn it on, and then you need to set it to whatever light intensity that you desire, right? So the rule of thumb is, if you are doing this measurement outside. Um, you can use this sensor, the red sensor here, as a guidance. How much light should be used? For example, this light here. You to to know what is the reading for the silicon light sensor. You go to measurement, and then you go to you see the Q out. It reads only six. That's that's very 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 low because this is not par light. But if I were to turn on the light, you can see that. Oh not that. Oh the one. Look at the Q QM out. So that increased, right? Two hundred, five hundred, seven hundred, one thousand now, right? So whatever the reading is from here, increase thirty percent. 
No, 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 no. This is not far, not sunlight. If I'm talking about if you're dealing with the sun, all right? Okay. So go back to the environment tab. Um, press uh, set point. Maybe just set to one thousand micromole first. Set to one thousand micromole. This set point. Yep. Set one thousand. Done. Okay. Now press on this box here. The red, blue, far red. 1,000 micromole is the light intensity, the quantity of light that you want to be present in the chamber. The color control is the quality, the second dimension of light. Now you can tell how much you want the light to be present in there. While this is being set, you can actually see the actuality of it. You can see under the chamber. Two off, on dulu, kak. <laughs> on, on dulu. Uh, keluar dulu. Uh, so, tengok kat dalam ni. Ha, nampak? Dah on. Ha, kan dah on kan? Can you hold this? Tunjuk, tunjuk orang. Okay. Um, <coughs> okay. Now, now I, because I want to show the light first. So, um, turn the red zero, far red zero, but... But blue, um, ten percent. <coughs> so let's try because I want to show you the blue, red, blue, far red. So this should be zero, ten, zero. Okay, okay. So open the chamber. No, open the chamber. You can open the chamber. Open the chamber and see. You need uh, press keep. Ah, uh, see? Can you see that? Right. So that's um, that's blue. The blue. Uh, hold it, okay? Don't, don't don't drop it. Right. Okay. So that's the blue. Okay. Now for the second uh, second exercise, turn uh, zero red, zero blue, and four red uh, turn into ten. Keep. You need to press keep. Okay. Far red, your eyes can't see, but you can see the diodes. You need to turn in. Turn. Turn to see inside. Kenapa biru lagi tu? Tak betul. Ni, ni, ni. Ikut ni, ikut ni, ikut ni. Zero, zero, ten. Actually, you can see. Uh, tutup lampu ni kejap. Can you can you shut these two two rows? There are two rows. So kita tengah buat light activity. Ah, uh, can you see the far red light, the diodes? That's the diode. Okay, but it's not bright because it's very low energy. What about this? You can see, right? Okay, so that's the far red, two hundred sixty, two hundred no no six hundred twenty five. Oh no, sorry, seventy-five, seven hundred twenty-five um, nanometer. All right, okay. Now I want you to do this: um, zero far red, zero blue, but red. Turn it to one hundred. Every time this happens, you can take picture so that you can see the color combination of it. Uh, and this is pure red. You need to keep a press keep, okay? Uh, right. So this is only pure red, 625 nanometer. Right, okay. But for our exercise, we need to use the combination of everything. Everything each. So, red, blue, far red. Um... Kita nak buat dekat luar sebenarnya. So, what do we do? Um, we set it to be red about, uh, let's say, uh, 90%, no, not 90, like 85%. 85%, this is 14, this is 1. Hmm. Set it. And, and see the color. Is it 100? I hope it's 100. Yeah. 
85, 14, 1. Because we use uh, first stage, yes. The wavelength and control. No, no, no. Wavelength uh, is fixed by the diodes, the LED. Yeah. So we have, uh, we can only control the intensity of it, but not the wavelength of it. All right. Okay. What color now? It's pink. Is it pink? Right. Uh, because there's a present of blue and infrared plus red. Okay. Right. Now we can, uh, that's all the setting. So after you have set everything, everything should turn yellow, uh, not yellow, green very soon. This environment uh, tab here, it should all turn green. Now we move to do the uh, warming up. Go to start up, the tab, start up. Because we, it takes time. And then go to warm, warm up test. Warm up test. Yeah. Right. And then you can simply press start. Yeah. All right. And make sure this is completely shut. Everything. Okay. Chris now okay how long this is going to take uh, it's going to be a while about 10 to 15 minutes because this is the first time we do it if we have done it multiple times it's going to be uh, a lot faster so while we wait for the warm-up to take place um, can, can, uh, turn on back the light do it right uh, bawa masuk pokok ubi pokok ubi tolong ubi ubi Satu group ni, satu group ni. Berat tu. Dua orang lah. Patah pinggang lah ni. Ada je sound effect. <laughs> Careful. Jangan patahkan pokok orang. Aku tak nak menjawab. Nah, kat sini. One one for this group, one for this group. Okay. Nah, kat sini ni, dekat, dekat dengan chamber sikit. Oh, susu. Sus. Habis mic aku. Apa? Ya. Yeah. Oh, yang 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 paling uh, simple is 90% blue, 10% uh, 90% red, 10% blue. 90% red. 90% red. 90% red. 90 10. 90 merah, 10 biru. Farad tak tak ada pun tak apa. Farad tu actually a special effect. Hmm. Hmm? If uh, effect especially untuk padi. Kadang-kadang padi ni degil. Ya, yeah. so kita bagi dia warmth. Uh, hangat. Tapi sebenarnya warna merah tu pernah cukup sebab farad adalah sejenis merah. Hmm. Okay. While we wait for the warm up to um, to finish, uh, let's do plant selection from from what we have learned yesterday. So pokok apa ni? What plant is this? Ubi apa? Kayu. <laughs> <laughs> this 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 kind of leaf. How how you describe it? Morph the morphology. Palmate. Finger. <laughs> Palmate finger. Apa lagi? Is it is it a, a simple leaf or compound leaf? It's compound. Okay. Actually, this leaf. Uh, I'll just I'll just pick uh, a plug in one. Okay, so this is uh, apa? the vernacular name for this is ubi bunga. Okay, <clears throat> originally this this leaf is full, rounded, but due to evolution, this digits form. Okay, it's pretty much like your your uh, digits, your finger. When your fetus about two months, three months old in the womb, you are pretty much wept like a duck, wept feet, wept palm. And due to a process called apoptosis, you know, 
the there's a set program death in between the tissue that's why you get this so whatever tissue here just die there not the whole hand so that's why you get your digits so that what happens here as well so this leaf the reason i choose this because beside it looks you know multi-leaf what else can you observe color so how you describe this coloration scheme Huh? Haunted? Variegated. What, what, what's, what's variegated? What is variegation? Huh? Uh, apa dia? <laughs> Jawab lah. Huh. You don't want to answer. You 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 pray to, to the law. I'm not your examiner. Huh. I, I, I take enjoyment in student do not like to answer. Uh, the silent you, you you get, the bigger the bomb will arrive. <laughs> so what's a what's a variegation exactly? So in in biology, variegation is what we call as a type of CMS, cytoplasmic mutation. Okay, cytoplasmic mutation meaning that in the cytoplasm of the cells within this leaf, the chloroplast pretty much not functioning or it's not there. There's a mutation. Okay? So for a given leaflet like this, I, I take one leaf, right? One leaflet here. There are many cells. There are many cells in here. Some cells are normal. So when they are normal, they have all the complete organelles. They have the nucleus, they have the mitochondria, they have the chloroplast and everything. But certain cells, they have less chloroplast due to the this thing, cytoplasmic mutation, okay? And some cells, they have absent or chloroplast already. So those that have some, you see the lighter green, those that completely absent, sometimes no, no, no chloroplast is at all, it's white. So what's the wisdom in this? The wisdom of the question. Now you, you, you have learned about the wisdom, right? Why the God created wind, why the um, have all these um, leaves that allow the wind to pass through. What's the wisdom of having variegation? Looks pretty, make, make me happy. Is it why? Can you think of something? Aesthetic. Do you think nature care about aesthetic, pleasing to the eyes? What do you think? Look at look at the tree. The, the 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 white part do not have chloroplast. So kalau macam tu less photosynthesis lah. Right. This is costing the plant tau. Less green part means less photosynthesis. The the proof is if you remember from your school time if you do the iodine test the white part the iodine is not going to turn iodine will turn what color? If it, it detects the presence of starch. Okay, korang tak buat eksperimen tu masa sekolah? Ah, blue. Iodine warna brown. If you put it on the leaf, if the leaf is having starch, it will turn blue. Tapi the, the part that without the green, it's just the white, it stays brown. Okay, so what's the wisdom? Hmm. <laughs> Imagine if I'm your examiner. You know what not? Can, can. Can. Um when when the leaf is in this manner, there are multiple uh, advantages to the plant. We look at from the physical appearance. Number one is through aesthetic, but that's for human. Human pleasure. Nature doesn't care about it. But in, 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 if it's, this was placed in the jungle, the appearance of blotchiness and patchy pattern like this is a form of herbivory deterrent. Because animals, especially uh, ulat, ulat, kayu, benda semua tu, they associate uh, green with sedap dan bernutrisi. When they see something like white, uh, no, no. Are you going to eat white apple? <laughs> Whatever, unless you ask no white lah. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> right. So herbivory uh, deterrent. Right. But that's in the sense of ecological interaction, you know, with all the, the animals in the system. But in terms of physiology, what is the purpose of having this variegation? You see, the white part actually enables the incoming incident irradiance from the sun or for any light to pass down to get transmitted so that the whole under canopy is homogeneously illuminated and this this is very important especially when this plant is located in the rather understory or in the trap canopy area right so when when that happens this leaf even though it's not completely exposed to the sun to some degree it will receive the irradiance or the sunlight. Okay? So, that's the wisdom of it. Is there any, any other wisdom? What? What? Look at the shape. Why is not one full? Why is it digitized? Digitized? We got fingers. Why? Yeah, okay, the wind. I think that uh, the wind point we have covered. Is there anything else? In this way, this you need to look at the leaflet actually. Each leaflet has its own veins. You see? Has its own vein. And therefore, it doesn't have to share the common piping line to translocate the photosynthate from one place to another, meaning that the vein density for this leaf morphology compared to, let's say, uh, okra, the vein density of this will be much higher. Plants with much higher vein density, we know that the translocation, meaning that the transport from the source to the sink is much better. And if you think a bit deeper, why this plant needs to translocate in such a productive manner? Ni pokok apa? Rasa-rasa apa kaitan ubi dengan translocation yang sangat produktif? Ya. 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 So, it's actually very helpful in the formation of the tuber. Because that is one organ that that like to accumulate all it can. So in order to do that, the plant requires a very extensive venation and piping line. And that can be achieved by having venation this way. So photosynthesis from one, two, three, regardless of, of where the leaf is located, the moment you manage to get sugar, transport all the way down. No need to use this piping system. It's much quicker, right? It's much quicker. Kalau the piping line in the in the regular sense like this, if this leaf is done photosynthesis, it has to uh, cause the sugar to travel in the middle, then go down. No, it doesn't have to do that. From here, it just go straight. The, yeah, uh, dedicated path, right? Okay. Try not to from physiology. I should write my own book, right? <laughs> Okay, now, semalam dah belajar how to select the leaf. Siapa, siapa nak volunteer korbankan diri untuk pilih leaf? Ah, pilih, leaf. Show me. Show me yang mana. And give me the reasoning. For this group, for this group. Ah, pilih, leaf mana nak guna? K kena ada reasoning. I want to, to uh, I will ask the reasoning. Take your time, you got a few, two minutes. <laughs> Remember the lesson yesterday? You 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 can bend down this if you want. It's, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, one minute left. Ah, uh, cepat cepat decide. Ah, uh, discuss discuss. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Sweet potato. Ah, uh, sweet potato. Uh. Yang menjana. Creeping. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, if we want to observe the vegetative growth, mm. so what kind of parameter that? Ah, uh, usually the stem, the branching. The branching because they have like. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is it? Is that? Just take the branch. Yeah. The, the way when they come up, so like. Oh. Yes, yeah, because the branching and the foliage coverage, you can take, for example, a drone or camera di atas, ambil gambar, the foliage coverage. Camera biasa, okay. Guna tangga, ladder. <laughs> Naik tinggi sikit atau kerusi, ambil gambar. Uh, letak lapan baris untuk scale. One of the parameter called foliage coverage, right? Ada, 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 ada dan that um, sebenarnya, sebenarnya banyak uh, uh, leaf leaf nitrogen content, specific leaf nitrogen content, the leaf biomass, root to shoot ratio. Uh, there, 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 are, there are there are many there are many. Yeah. Yeah. Normally, let's say one plant like income, just measure the height. Mm. Oh, uh, it depends either it's determinate or indeterminate, the, the growth um, pattern. Chili usually, uh, most parameter relate to the fruit because that's the organ of harvest. Yeah, because even if you measure the height or the branching, it's pretty much... Um, not to say useless, but not helping if the fruit production say otherwise. Yeah, but that's what I mentioned yesterday. It's all about the organs of interest. If your organs of interest is fruit, the focus is actually on the fruit. And maybe one or two about the overall plant appearance. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, okay. No problem. Okay, dah. Okay, let's hear from this group. I, I, I. Okay, this group. Down mana? Mana 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 ah kenapa Oh itu je Ketiga dari apa Atas mana atas langit Kenapa yang ni kenapa tak kira Kira tak Ni ini kira tak Yang ni No semalam aja kan ah abila 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 Eh Betul ke tu? Mana otak? <laughs> Betul ke tu? <laughs> Yang tak fully developed ni panggil apa? <laughs> primordia. Li primordia. Primordia tu plural. Sebab skala satu primordia. Li primordia equivalent to fetus. Masa dalam perut, orang orang tak panggil. Dia panggil, oh kanak-kanak di dalam uh, rahim sedang uh, berkembang. Orang tak panggil kanak-kanak. Orang panggil fetus. Fetus lagi. Fetus lagi. So, ini ini masih belum dikira sebagai daun. Okay? This is not leaf. This ni. Leaf primordia. What about this guy? Yes, because the morphology has assumed the shape. So, this can be your first leaf. Lepas tu? Second. The third. So, whether to choose third or not, look at the fourth. Sama tak? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, one line. So this one we know it's going to uh, senescing a bit compared to this one. So by right, actually this one dah boleh ambil. Tapi kalau nak ambil nombor empat pun tak salah. Alright. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. This group mana? Ah. Uh, mana 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 mana. Ah. Uh, tunjuk tunjuk. Atas mana? Atas langit. Okay. Ah, uh, mana second? Tak nampak. Okay. Boleh ambil tak? Ah, uh, mantap. Ni. Kau bukan tu yang satu. Same. Okay, macam ni. I I think I think maybe uh, some of you tak belajar pikir botani kan. Tapi I'll just I'll just mention something. It's about something about leaf arrangement. Sekejap. Sekejap ya. 
Sikit je. <coughs> Leaf arrangement kita panggil sebagai phylotaxi. Phylotaxi. Okay. Phylo daun. Taxi means ranking. Rank. Rank. So, dia ada a few. Sekejap ya. Dia, dia macam ni. Lama dia tak mengajar botan ni. Mesti buruk lukisan. Sabar. Okay. Ini adalah daun, leaf. Ini adalah dia punya batang, stem. Okay. When you have two leaf coming from a common point or node, this is node, on the stem, this is called opposite phylotaxy. Okay. Opposite because two leaf, opposite. When you have two leaf kind of having alternate, so one is left, one is right, right, left, right, left. This one is called alternate. 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 When you have one plant from the node coming multiple leaf, more than two, three, four, five, this is called whole. Pusar. Contohnya adalah pokok uh, tu, nyerim olender tu. Ada kat library pokok tu. Ke kau tak pergi library? Ha. Satu lagi adalah, dia tak ada batang. Tapi, dekat bawah tanah tu terus keluar banyak-banyak. Ini dipanggil rosette. Rosette. Contohnya, Arabidopsis lah. Ha. Ha. Bayam. Apa ni? Uh, kulis. Ku kubis. Kulis. Ha. Kubis. Ha. Cucu, 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 cucu. Jadi, soalannya, ada soalan lah. Pokok ubi ni, phylotexi mana satu? Ha. Alternate. Ah, menyenangkan hidup lah Menyenang, Menyenangkan hidup tak. Both groups Terlupa nak bagi tahu satu lagi kriteria Untuk pokok ni Semalam asal dia mention kot uh, Fully expanding dan dia Tak kuncup Dia kena kembang flat Itu satu lagi requirement dia Ya yeah. yeah. Macam ni kan I know lah this is disease right <laughs> Tapi kalau this is has A uh, Cukup sifat, tapi still not fully expanded. Kind of tertutup macam ni. Jangan ambil. Go one down lower. Okay. Right? So, whatever you do, usually the right leaf between number 3 and number 5. Fully expanded from the top. Do not count primordium. Alright. Okay. Alright? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, not 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 the healthy. Sekarang kadang you buat treatment, uh, pokok tu dijangkakan tak sihat tak sihat. The point is mendapatkan fully expanded, physiologically mature dan dia tak senesing. Sebab kalau senesing, anda salah dari your treatment. Memang memang your your whole uh, apa tu bidang adalah gerontologi. Uh, Pokok orang kau cari snesing. Orang kau cari snesing. Uh, that's your gerontologist. Hobby, gerontologi. Uh, then go for that. Okay? Alright. Alright. So, I think the warm-up has done. Okay, good. Machine ni tak ada masalah. 100%. What about that machine? Janji dia tak ada masalah. Itu kosong. Warning and failure. Okay. I, I give I give a fair warning, okay? Most... Most most of the time, ah, result. Yeah. yeah. Zero zero fail. Ah, sama. Ah, ah, zero fail. Warning tak ada. Pass semua. Semua pass. Okay, ada satu likelihood okay to happen with this machine. The CO2 cartridge that you use, you can be not from Lyco. Sebab Lyco punya mahal. But it's okay to get third party. Beli cat limau, cat lemon. Beli, apa, ada lebih uh, korang main paintball bulan lepas ke. Boleh guna. Tapi, bila tak guna like kau punya, calibration dia macam tak lari ataupun the pressure dalam canister not that high, you will get CO2 error here. That is only one error you can ignore. 
Ah uh, kat sinilah nanti. Tapi yang ni tak ni sebab guna uh, yang ni. Ah uh, dia ada tulis uh, CO2 fail to reach 2000 ppm. But that's okay. You're not going to use 2000 ppm pun. Kan? Machine ni dia uh, force everything to go maximum. Uh, when you use cartridge chop lemon uh, <laughs> murah kan it's not going to be able to withstand 2000 ppm right okay all right okay dah the fan the fan kenapa dengan fan oh i think tak apa kot fan fan tak tak apa okay so uh, i think that's pretty much okay all right sekarang apa apa ah uh, sekarang kita buat the Setting untuk ambil measurement pertama. Hey, boleh ambil measurement lah. Ya. Tapi sebelum ambil measurement, sebenarnya kena buat file dulu. Ah, Kena buat file. Ada ada orang nak tunjuk buat file macam mana? <laughs> buat file. Buat file. Tunjuk. No, no. You, you uh, Show on here. I'll just narrate. Baik, uh, sini je Ah, Mula-mula. Ah, cakap lah. Eh, eh, tengok sini. Kita pergi ke lock setting. Lock setup. Setelah sini, kita ada open lock file. You can uh, refer to this uh, screen, okay? So, kat sini. Lock setup, lock file. Kita ada new folder, new file. Kita akan buka support folder. Kita akan setelahkan new folder. Setelah tu, dia Hari ini berapa bulan? Empat. Empat bulan. Akmal, kontrol kat sini aja lah. Supaya orang boleh tengok. Di sini boleh kontrol kat atas screen. Okay. Uh. Okay. Okay. Kita dah new file ya. Kita buka. Kita tulis new file. Kau buat folder tak? Ah, order tadi nama training. So ni kita tulis OB. OB ya. Ha. OB satu. So dia bawah ni, ni folder dia, ah ni kita punya file. Ha. so ni kita dah ha, buka file lah. Bukti uh, double check whether the file has been successfully open or otherwise. Look at here. The moment it says log 0, that means you have successfully open a new file. Otherwise, this lock won't turn into lock zero. Zero means it's ready to accept measurements. Okay. My my advice is, bila buat this uh, logging of files, please create your own folder. Don't simply create files and then scatter about. If if I found any in my machine, I'll delete everything. <laughs> All right. All right. And I think use your common sense to do the labeling of the file. The name, the date, um, the the treatment, whatever. If you do the blocking, put the B, R one B three. You do you do statistic right? Nanti nak guna statistik semua data. Okay, dah buka. Uh, pergi measure uh, the setting environment. Okay, now for the sake of this activity, sekarang ni pokok ni um, dapat luar tadi kan? Dekat luar berapa uh, cahaya? Tinggi tak? Okay, I want you to bring this, sebab ni portable. Un Unplug daripada tu. Let's go out to find out the um, uh, the sensor. Later, masa dekat luar, go to measurements, observe the QM out. Let's let's find out. This will be, what was the light? environment that it has been experiencing all this while. Jom. Um, bawa mesin tu. Cabut sekejap. Mesin patut tu. Um, one person hold the sensor. One person hold the console. Berat kan? Uh, uh, bawa. Uh, tolong, 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 tolong. Angkat. Um, uh, buka pintu. Ya, yes, nak cari cahaya. Uh, supaya kita pasti itu yang 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 te cahaya tepat. Faham? Okey. Okey.
Okay. Tadi ubi tu kat sini kan? Ah, tengok. Check. Make sure it is not overcast by any shadow. Cloud shadow, your belly shadow, no shadow. <laughs> ah, check what's the light and then jot down because that's the basic. Berapa? Berapa? Semua orang nampak? Ah, tengok dekat screen tu. Tengok ambil gambar kami. Tengok dekat screen. Okay, group, group ni berapa like? One, two? Okay, one, two, two, five. Group ni? One, three, oh kenapa terang lagi? <laughs> ah, tak apa dah. Lebih kurang 1,200 to 1,300. Okay? Alright, okay dah. Boleh masalah. Simpan information tu dulu. Let's come. Huh? Micromol per square meter per second. Uh, PPFD unit. Ah, tak, tak, tak. Sebab, se, uh, sebab ni dah lux, lux uh, brightness saja Dia tak bagi tahu photon density. Okay, come back to your place. Okay, um, each group, make sure you have tissue. After you have selected the leaf that you want to measure, you need to ensure that it's dry. Not bone dry, just just, just uh, get a tissue and dab it, dab it, dab it. Right, again, on this leaf, which, which, on this leaf, before you clamp, which leaflet do you want to clamp? Ah, which leaflet you want to clamp? Middle. 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 In the middle. Oh, ada the koya tengger gerak. Saba. Saba. Okay. The good thing is with this, we can have. Um, you can either pick the one in the middle or these two. Avoid, avoid the one at the bottom here. So, but usually this these two the veins is smaller and the photosynthesis has a tendency to be lower we will do two measurement measurement on the green part and also measurement on the variegated part and then you can compare the photosynthesis reading within the same leaflet but so you can validate whether my my claim is correct or not so let's say that uh, you have chosen atlah guna leaf mana yang dekat ah pilih pilih ambil lain ni Dah, dah lap nanti boleh ni <coughs> saya can can you come here so that i can see, uh, show you nanti buat sebalik kat situ <coughs> yeah dah mention ke tadi oh belum oh i forgot to mention before you start the uh, measurement you need to do the matching the matching is you go to the measurement tab press match erga press Press match aga. Ah, lepas tu auto match. The reason is you need to tell the machine since there is no plant present, the reading of reference and sample should be equal. Right. Wait until the traffic light becomes green for both CO two and H two O. That's good. Oh, this machine I like this machine. So, it's very highly behave. <laughs> Yang tu macam elit lambat <laughs> Okay How, How's this group? Okay 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 Kalau dah okay uh, File dah buka uh, Boleh close Boleh close Tadi light You find out berapa? Satu, satu, dua Satu Okay You can go as high as For now 30% above it Kenapa kita increase kan? Maksudnya if it's uh, 1300 kali lah 1300 kali 1.3. Berapa? <laughs> Berapa? 1000? Okay. Uh, I think you can set sampai 1700. So pergi dekat environment, go to the light tab, you see the set point? At the moment you set 1000 right? 
change it to 1700 kenapa why why we do this way because we do not want to underestimate the assimilation because the light always fluctuate in reality just because you read it at 1000 now if we wait a bit longer during you know right afternoon clear sky it could go up to 30% and that's actually one point in the day that the plant experiencing it so we go for the maximum right okay 1700 and the red uh, for for this activity we change it to zero for red change it change it change it somebody change it this group change it this group change it 90% red 10% blue, 0% for red. Okay. You need to press the keep. Kalau tak press keep, nanti dia tak, dia tak jadi. Okay. Alright, now. Okay, so let's revise what has been said now. So flow, 600 micromole, over pressure, uh, 0 0.2, uh, H2O, 65%, CO2, 425, CO2, is it referral sample? Preference for, for this one, speed of the fan, 1000 RPM, temperature 28 degree, light, 1700 micromole. Okay, actually you're good to go. Yep. Yeah, I mean, what, what, set, set one, what, 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 You need to find out what's the light and then increase the 30%. Hmm. Jangan measure pukul 4 petang, light dah tak betul. Sekarang kita measure sebab memang ini waktu yang dia paling cerah. The, the whole idea, you, you, you set the light to the maximum because you don't want to underestimate photosynthesis. We want to know the actual photosynthesis capacity for your leaf. Right? Okay? Right. So, uh, can I read the message? Ah, uh, antara pukul 10 ke 12 pagi tengah hari. Ya, 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 ya. Jangan measure awal pukul 8 pagi. Kan? Burung pun tak, tak punch in lagi. Ha, you need to wait a bit, a bit longer. Pukul 11 ke? Macam sekarang kan? Pukul 11 kan? Ah, okay lah. Right, okay. Alright. Okay, kalau semua dah okay. Uh, pilih daun yang nak. Uh, this group ke datang kejap? Nanti korang boleh buat. Ni, 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 ni. Tengok ni. Pergi duduk belakang sana, tengok. Aku macam macam mak tiri kan? Tapi tak apalah. <laughs> I'm in pain. Oh, apa? Pain kita tak makan lagi. Dapkan daun ni. Katakanlah nak guna daun ni. Okay, I'll choose yang the one in the middle. So, just dab it. Kenapa? Kita tak nak ada moisture. Juga. No moisture, no dust. No pest, no koya. Kadang-kadang dia kata, oh tak payah lap lah sebab the, the, the leaf is dry. Lap juga. Lap juga sebab ada debu. Ya, yeah, kalau dust tu get into this, nanti tersumbat you will make elite scientific even richer. Sebab, sebab dia nak datang repair. <laughs> right. Okay. Dah. Fuh, fuh, fuh. Okay. The first activity, kita measure bahagian yang ada hijau. So, ambil ni. Tak ada orang nak tolong aku ke? I think benda ni macam kena tinggi sikit. Okay. So, for simplicity, make sure that the whole circle is covered. The whole circle. You see, you see that one is the circle of um, the gasket, the circle belonging to the thermocouple, right in the middle. Yep. Put it in there. Okay. Let the plant acclimatize to that. I think you need to forget something to start that sini. Ah, kau kata kan? Okay, while while that is being done, you need to allow the plant to uh, acclimate in the environment. 
Another thing that you can set for this particular leaf, if you go to constant, tengok, tengok sini, kau salah kau. Uh, constant, in the constant, you can look at the, uh, wait, I would like to change this, gas exchange. Constant, gas exchange. If your leaf fully cover the gasket, that, that's fine. That's fine. S is the area. That's 6 centimeters square. K, 0 0.5. K is actually the stomata ratio. If you are not sure, stomata, whether it's present on the top or bottom, just set to 0 0.5. If you think your stomata is present only on one side, such as um, aquatic plant, aquatic plant do not have stomata on the underside. It's, it's on the top. You set to one. Okay? So, um, 0 0.5, then that's fine. Right? Okay. What do you think about this leaf? Do you think ada stomata on the top? Ada tak? Tak ada? Uh-uh. I mostly the kabawa, so but this is a regular C3 plant, okay, and it's a dicot, right? Okay, so you have said that, and make sure this thing is turned on. Use dynamic ni. This will make your life easier. Kejap lagi. Use dynamic ni, right? It will make the uh, reading stable faster. So looking looking at the measurement now, let's get familiarized with the interface. You see interface here. Um, I'll, I'll just show it. Can okay, somebody press one here? Okay. So now you are under measurement step, and this is the content, the interface of it. On the left side, you've got the instantaneous graph measuring various things. And on the right, you have these sub tabs. Even these sub tabs got various pages. One, two, three, four, five, six. So for page one, these are the variables that the instrument are measuring. Uh, estimation, which is this is your photosynthesis, stomatal conductors. This is the light that you sh uh, show earlier. When the light tadi? Oh, tak ada. Oh, the page line. Oh, the other group. So, and this is the one that you set, the RH in, in your chamber. If you go to page 2, these are going to ch turn, to change. Yeah. You can control what variable you want to appear in each page. No problem. If you want to, to, to edit, go to number 1. Let's edit. Um, let's add, um, edit... Uh, Q in flow. Siapa nak buang? Siapa kita nak korbankan? Tili. Use dynamic. True. I boleh nak korbankan ni. Um, edit grip. Press edit grip. Right. So, press use dynamic. Can you find QM out? The the For the sensor out. I think that should be under Is it you? No, actually the other Yeah, but yeah. Lupa muka surat apa benda apa tu. Kejap, kejap, kejap. Summary of symbols, mari kita tengok. QM out dia dekat bawah Me measurement chamber uh, measurement uh, group M M itu Q measure ah bawah ni bawah measurement QM out tu that one yep see after you press it now this variable ha has replaced the, uh, the the dynamic tab okay now close Close. Right now, pay attention to this now. Now we are uh, looking at the graph. This is what we call instantaneous graph, live graph. There are many graphs that you can choose from. We go with A because this is for assimilation. 
this is a double axis graph on on this you got your assimilation reading and on the right you got the gsw is the conductance to stomata g is the universal um, symbol for conductance s means con stomata w means water stomatal conductance to water okay zero here means now Minus 4 means 4 minutes ago. To determine whether your plant is ready to be locked or otherwise, you need to make sure that the reading is stable. To know that, there is a simple trick to do it. <clears throat> um, you need to zoom in first. Make it only 1 minute ago. Can you zoom in? Perhaps um, this time. Zoom in. Alright. Not 30 seconds. 1 minute only. Right. So this is now zero. This is one minute ago. Okay. Zoom in now. 30 seconds. Right. So even more zoom in. Just now you saw that it's, it's going up, right? So what you need to, to look at here, pay attention to the color of, we're looking at the dynamic now because that's the one that we set. And the green. You can ignore the blue. So what you're looking for is for the, the graph to become stable. Something like this. Okay. So basically there, there are three uh, shapes of graph. So you're going to get that. You can get that going down or you can get that. Right? So if you're going up, if, if the stomata, the GSW going this way, it means the stomata are still opening. If it's going this way, the stomata are closing. If it goes this way, it's stable. So you need... Oh, tak nampak ah. Ah, tolak, tolak sikit. Eh, yang ni kau tak kepek ke? Kepek lah. Kepek lah. Or orang sebelah dah buat dah. <laughs> Follow instruction. Uh, dah nampak tadi buat tu follow lah dekat sini ok alright I suggest you on the screen ok imagine that you do the on the screen use paper focus on this one grid so this is 30 seconds right so one grid equivalent to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 30 bagi 5 berapa? 6 saat nampak so you just focus on one grid here, meaning means that it worth six seconds. Look, the one that you need to focus on is the purple and green. Both of them should have this shape. Do they have that? Yes, if you have that, now you can press the lock. If they are still in this form or in this form, uh -uh, you can't do that. Okay. Uh, now it's, it's going up. Oops. Nampak dia tak ni? Sensitive sangat. Macam tuan dia. Okay. Now actually you need to wait a bit because the stomata conductors, the green line is going upward. Meaning that the stomata are still opening. But just now, it was flat. If you have taken the reading, then that's fine. Because this plant, if you live for longer, surely it will adapt to the condition. Alright? So the first sighting of stability for both purple line and green line, that's the moment you lock. Okay, now you can lock. I think you can lock now for this. Okay, what about this this group? Come here. How much? Sure. Um Okay, color dah lock. Unclamp. I I I I tengah. This group, you have lot now, right? Lot one, buat dah catatan, lot one, uh, green part, green region. Unclam, do the measurement again, tapi use the variegated white region tu. Nanti kita boleh bezakan reading. Okay, so this is, um, yep. That's negative. <laughs> What what if you that you choose? 
Tadi ada ambil reading tak? Catat examination. Tak. <laughs> Doctor, can yeah, yeah. We, can we control how fast the stomata open? Yeah, yeah, we we, we can, we can. Uh, I'll show that in the afternoon because now uh, it has not undergone midday depression. The midday depression is special for C3 plant. In the afternoon, they're going to sleep. C3. From lesson yesterday. Okay. Is it green? Just wait for a bit. Okay, I I, I forgot I forgot to mention. Okay, um, can you redo again? The white. Okay, I forgot to mention. Um, you need to ensure the assimilation is positive first. It was positive, right? Uh, uh, you can blame this group because I would got distracted. Mak nak marah dia. Sabar. Dapat, dapat, dapat. Uh, bila ni dah stable, ambil dulu reading. Nanti I'll show you again. Okay. For this group, for this group, can you see? Is it stable or not? Go down to warna apa? Focus on kal kalau 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 listen up kalau dia mengganggu warna biru ni you can remove it how do you want to remove it macam mana ah, buanglah pergi ke edit graph tu ni ah kau pangkahkan dia pam ah akan settle hidup ni tak susah hafiq engkau aja suka menyusahkan <laughs> Kan? Dah, dah seminggu aku tak marah dia. <laughs> okay. Okay. Look at look at the curve now. Is it stabilizing or is it spiking or is it going down? Going down, spiking. Okay. Okay. That is one horizontal way to look at it. Now you look at the absolute value of this axis. This is 0 0.02. This is 0 0.14. That's very very few. Yeah, very few. So for the for the assimilation axis, as long as the absolute value is um, two, you can regard it as okay. By two means it can be any reading. It can be top is eight. Bottom is 6 or maybe top is 4. Bottom is 2. 8 minus 6, 2. 4 minus 2, 2. Absolute value difference is 2. For the assimilation axis on the left, for the uh, stomatal conductance axis on the right, you need to look at this um, absolute value as well. If it doesn't go beyond than 1 over 100, then it's okay. Meaning that 0 0.01 or 0 0.1 and then the... the oh. Yep. And this guy is 0 0.005. Hmm. You can accept it. It doesn't, it doesn't, don't, 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 don't get to, um, get tricked by this absolute number. You are looking at the magnitude, whether it's, it's actually the, the, the numerical of it. Okay, anyway, so, look at this. Tapi susah lah sebab dia akan bergerak atas atas kan. Tapi, tapi kalau dia macam dah within within certain range, boleh je ambil. Okay? Alright? Okay. Yeah, that's not lah dalam logging. Dalam file ni. That's why we created the file first. Okay, I think you can log. 
Dah boleh ambil. Dah boleh ambil Ratu. Okay. Can you touch the soil? Tell me, how do you feel? Moist. Moist. Hmm. Teach to this. Up. Okay, while we are waiting for the other group is doing, why don't you try individually to get your own reading? Just remember your file log what? Now it's waiting for log number three. So just 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 try. Just try something for, for this, okay? So maybe you want to try for um, completely green, completely white, or in combination of white and green. And we can have the reading later or when we learn how to extract data. Okay? So do that because I need to watch this group first. If if this one doesn't look okay, I think maybe it's the plan. We can try to use this. Um, uh, uh, at first, the the machine is matching, no biological explanation. But after a while, if it's still negative, that means mitochondria is dominating. Chloroplast is because chloroplast use CO two. Mitochondria release CO two. Mitochondria more active than uh, uh, chloroplast. Tapi bear in mind lah, sebab sekarang ni dah approach pukul 12. Usually C3 plants, pukul 12 dia akan tidur. That's what we call midday depression. You know what? Um, dekat luar ada jagung kan? Bagi grup ni jagung? Ambil kan jagung? Uh, jagung dia tak ada midday depression. Uh, don't fret, do not fret, do not fret. <laughs> My team always win. <laughs> Dia, dia naik, cuma dia naik, cuma dia slow. Mm. So stomatal conductance, it, when the moment it's positive, then that's good. <coughs> okay, okay, class. Another another way you can determine this is good to lock or otherwise is by looking at the stomatal conductance. The moment it's positive, then it's, you're good to go as well. It is stabilized. And then it's not negative. Negative stomata conductance means stomata closed. Rather than transper, transpiring water, the plant is actually taking up the water that you give. Meaning that the tengah kering house lah. It's thirsty plant. Okay? And usually that happens for the drought plant. I think maybe, maybe the plant is not, it's not doing well. Can we try, can you bring that corn here? Let's try the corn. Corn ni kalau kalau tak tak sini tak sini dekat dekat dengan tu. Okay, somebody want to try? Uh, uh, white pain and then go for the middle of the leaf. Uh, choose dulu semalam dah belajar kan? The one yang ada color. <laughs> Okay, so after you've done, you can take a corn dekat luar untuk cuba. Daun jagung, daun jagung. Eh, Mi, tolong ambil jagung dalam bekas. 
Mm. Okay. So sepatutnya it should be the performance should be higher because this is, this is C4 plan. So tengoklah dekat bahagian ni. How's the stomata kena turn? Is it positive or negative? Positive already. Positive, good. Uh, assimilation? Positive. Uh, see? Okay. Now, tak boleh ambil lah sebab, sebab dia tengah spiking up. You need to wait sampai dia jadi macam ni. More or less. Ataupun at any point dia dah capai ni. Sebab if you live longer, dia going to spike lagi. Dia macam like like a, uh, apa tu? Trickle. Trickle charging. And, and, and. Ah, kalau dia dah stable macam ni boleh je. You um, since your plan ada masalah, you can do various activity here using fully expanded leaf, young leaf, senescing leaf kat bawah. Ada uh, ada various position boleh buat leaf dekat hujung near the tip, leaf dekat bottom near the base. All these actually have um, heterogeneity in terms of carbon fixation, right? So kalau saya boleh at one point dia stable. Ini kan ganggu warna biru tu. Cuba cuba hilangkan warna biru tu. Edit graph. Dia kena press betul-betul. Uh, uh, yes, X. Uh, clear. Okay. So, dia dah macam within within one one um, rectangle kan? Sebenarnya dah, dah boleh dah lah tu. Ya. Yeah. Uh, press lock. Sekali je, sekali je. Sekali je. Tak, dia, dia memang naik. Tapi, ya, ya, ya. But sometimes you you just you just uh, it's your protocol. You only take the measurement after one minute clamp. Uh, if it's just your protocol, then that's fine. Tapi kalau sekadar nak quick measurement, we detect the first moment of stability. Go. So dah dah lah. Okay, dah satu. Uh, Patut boleh unclamp. Somebody else nak cuba pula dekat daun yang lain ke daun muda ke. Uh, ambil lah reading tadi. Jot down kan your reading. 7.1 assimilation. Lepas tu, stomata conductors berapa? 0. Point something something. Okay. Okay, I, I give you 10 more minutes to play around with the leaf using survey measurement. Then we will move to fluorescence measurement using the plant that you read yesterday. Okay, 10 minutes, play around with whatever you want to play around. I advise everybody, try once, okay? <laughs> Okay, we will we'll start the chlorophyll process. Pukul 12. Okay. In the meantime, you just play around. Take your reading. Just remember the log log three is my reading. Ah, what about you? Tak apa. 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 Tak ap
kan duit collect tu kan hmm? Dia termasuk VIN VIN tak apa, tak apa. Uh, Sebab itu uh, Dia punya form tu Flexible uh, Dia squishy sikit Dia akan ikut bentuk Alo tu uh, Dia akan ikut bentuk tu Kalau tak bocor Hmm Ah, cuba cuba. You got until pukul dua belas. Jangan apa? Uh, I think it's going up to tengok assimilation tu. 3.2 minus 1.6 dah boleh dah berapa difference. And it's going up. Nampak? Sparking up. Yeah. Dia belum ada any point since the clamp dia stable. So after you have clamp let's say that 40 second after that dia pernah capai stability kemudian 10 second later dia keep spiking actually the first one tu dah boleh ambil dah kalau untuk quick survey measurement right because the the longer you leave the leaf in here they will keep on naik sebab dia acclimating kalau 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 macam ni okey maksudnya dia dah uh, warna hijau dah okey tapi tengok warna purple sekejap hijau tu dah 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 okey purple tu dia tak ada Poin lagi dia stable. Tunggu kejap, tunggu kejap, tunggu kejap. Tapi tak pelik pun sebab ni jagung. Jagung ni dia <laughs> apa produktiviti tinggi. Sekejap. Uh, Mesti dia naik. Hmm. So kalau nak cepat. <laughs> sebenarnya boleh increasekan speed flow tu. Kalau memang kita tahu pokok ni jenis fotosintesis tinggi. Ya, C4 C4 plant. Okay, tapi if you if you look at the the pattern here, I just want to show the pattern here. Uh, 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 focus on the purple line. Se sebenarnya dia dah macam ni dah. Nampak ni? Eh? Uh, kalau dia dah, dah pernah capai tu, untuk quick measurement sebenarnya dah boleh lock. Hmm. Because uh, you leave it longer, dia akan spike atas. Sebab dia dia membiasakan diri dia dalam tu. Ya, ya. Okay, it's ready to have. Are you done? Are you done? Finish your your last leaf. Yeah, final one. Then we can move to fluorescence. Uh, remember, you you perm your plants yesterday as a loon. After after they done, can somebody show how to close the file? Hmm. Mata tu dah okey dah tu. Yang ni. Ah, uh, wait. Ask, ask, uh, uh, ajar setiap group untuk close the file ok, assistant for each group can you help to finish off the ex, uh, measurement and then show how to close the file close the file Open new file in the same folder. The the new file label fluorescence.
Okay, if you're done, you can put your OB plant on the side and then bring in your um, chili and the corn that you wrapped in aluminum foil last night. Put you you can put your ubi aside. Yeah, yeah. Both uh, semalam wrap chili and corn, right? Jagong. Uh, bring both yang yang wrap tu. Corn for the survey. Uh, pulang balik lah ke ladang. Eh, ke ladang ke koyat. Okay. Okay, lepas tu, buka lampu yang belakang aja lampu depan ni tutup tiga row. Sebab kita nampak fluorescent, tak boleh cerah-cerah. Ah, cepat. Movie time. Okay, make sure that you have closed the file. Now you need to open a new file. Create a new file. Put the label fluorescence, but still within the same folder. Nah. Nah. Okay. Okay. Now we, we, f we look back at your plants yesterday that you wrapped. Uh, chili. We want to take the uh, chlorophyll A fluoresces. Actually, the method is in the note. I want you to follow the method. Actually, can Chaya? Can we open it? Yep. Mm -mm. Is is it second note? Yep. So it should be on this note. The protocol note. Protocol note. Um, yep. Making measurements. Fluorescence measurement. Okay. Okay. Listen up. Listen up, okay? We want to do two measurements now involving fluorescence mode. Just now, what you did was called steady state or survey measurement. It's very quick. You clamp, you wait stability, lock, done. Now, for the uh, chlorophyll A fluorescence involving two parameters only, the FVFM and phi PS2. FVFM, the full name of it is maximum quantum yield. Okay, in order to do that, you need to dark adapt the plant beforehand. The, we have done the dark adaptation yesterday, so the plant is actually should be having all reaction uh, center opened. Okay, meaning that they are ready to get, to receive any light that you throw at them. Right. Okay. So this is the the method. So what you need to do is um, follow the setting written on your note. What's that? So your plan is in this condition, so that's fine. You have open log file. If you've done that, that's fine. And you can select the graph now. The graph is on F. F. And the page for the numbered pages uh, is number four. Because you want to make the uh, fluorescence variables to appear otherwise you can't see um uh, jenny okay so after you have set up the graph and the grid to be in the right order you need to turn off the light immediately Go to the measurements. Uh, sorry, go to the environment under the light tab. Control mode. Off. You need to off. Okay. See, okay now? Okay. Can follow? Right. 
After off, you need to go to the fluorometry tab on the top and then go to setting. Fluorometry on the top, setting, and then you need to set as appear on the notes. Okay. So this will involve the control of measuring setting, rectangular setting, yeah, and then you can double check by looking back at the measurement to see the fluorescence uh, signals. Okay, I'll give you five minutes to, to follow this, to, to do this. Okay, and do not forget to, after you're done with the fluorometry tab, to go to the um, lock setup and change your fluorometer options. Okay, your fluorometer options should be number one now. Number one, FOFM dark, and the flash type should be um, rectangle, rectangular. Okay. Um, ini kalau uh, satu ah uh. ni ah ni ni step tu I'm looking at here atas 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 lagi jauh sangat lah tu. Uh, this one okay remember you you need to open multiple tabs now just just do one by one do do the measurement tabs first for the graph and then go to the um, environment to turn off the light and then go to fluorometry and then go to the lock setup as long as you follow the steps return on the slides you'll be fine How, how's this group doing? Have you said everything? Okay. Um, the fluorescence. Oh, that's very low. Oh. Okay, after you're done, you can clamp onto the plant now. Uh, choose one that you have uh, wrapped uh, last night. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, that depends on uh, which fluorescent parameters that you want to take. The dark mode is now the maximum quantum yield. That's the dark mode. The light mode is for the 5 PS2, Photosystem 2 efficiency. The dark mode is meant uh, for the quenching coefficient. Yeah, because if you want to study photo protection mechanism for, of the plant, that's the uh, variable that you're looking for. And for the variables to be able to be obtained, you need to do setting here. But but that's for later because now we do the dark adapt. Yeah. So later we go into. Uh, we we go to the uh, light adapt after dark. Yeah. Okay. You can clamp onto the leaf. You should see some fluorescent signal now. F2. But do not press anything just yet. Just, just observe. And make sure that DF, DT has at least once touched zero. It's, it's going to fluctuate. Positive, negative, positive, negative. As long as it has touched zero then you know the fluorescence signal is stable. 
Okay, if if your df dt has touched zero, that means everything has stabilized, then you can start log the data. Double check, make sure that it's log zero now. No data should be ever taken just yet. Okay. Uh, how how's the, how's this group doing? Are you done? If it's it, negative, positive, negative, positive. Do you do you have the plastic bag there? Can you cover this? Ami ami plastic tu. Ami plastic tu cover sini sekejap. Ani ah, ni ni ni. Uh, buka tu, tutup sekejap sini. So, ni tutup ni 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 ni. Bukan tu, ni ni ni. Yep. Ada. Ah, dah. <laughs> dah, dah. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, now before you log, go to this graph. You need to go to computation and then see this being generated live. Go to fluorometry, go to computation, make this graph to appear. Okay? Um, now you can press zero. A uh, uh, log, sorry. Okay, then let's see what's the reading. Of, uh, how's this group? 0 0.79. Okay, that's for your coin. Okay? Um, cuba ambil multiple... Uh, so banyak ni. Uh, for each person, take now. Remember your log number. You need to record this about nanti light response dia nak masuk ketaknya. Uh, light response ke? Uh, tak apa, tapi lagipun dah so for con 0 0.79 maksudnya 79% capacity to capture light it's i think it's very interesting to find out about your chili okay got it uh, how, how does it read so that's that's your FFM, 80%. So your plan is slightly better than the Ajagong. But the Ajagong is 79%. I say kan, benda ni highly conserved. 1% different matters. 0.5% difference matters. Because it's not easy to change that. Alright, okay. So now you can uh, remember, um, try. I'll give you 10 minutes. With other 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 um, uh, leaves that you have wrapped. Okay, just remember lah, lot 1 belongs to who, lot 2 belongs to who, okay? Alright, I'll give, I'll give you 10, 10 minutes to measure the FVFM. This should be a quick process. Just remember, your lock belong to what? Measurement, okay? Okay, yeah. So basically, we should wait until the SPT. Hmm, the negative and positive, meaning that at one point, it has touched zero. You, you can uh, lock zero. Yep. Meaning that the fluorescent signal has stabilized. Yep. Yeah. A VFM is super fast. You should be able to have one plant per minute, actually. <laughs> No, 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 that's, that's uh, light adapt. Now you are dark adapt. You see? You see? This is dark adapt. And only these parameters that you get. 
later on we'll turn on the light you will get light adapted all right okay we, we finish the the adapt first yeah yeah you you yeah you can you can uh, trace back your old file to use the parameters that you obtained earlier for the calculation yeah sure that can be done Okay, once you have it all, dah lock kan, dah lock kan? Okay, buka lampu. Buka lampu, buka lampu. Turn on the chamber slide. Adikah you set to the adikah measurement. Turn on the chamber slide. Turn on the chamber slide. Go to light. Set point to one. Tapi, baik sikit tak silap kau pindikan ni pokok. Then you will get your light adapt data. <coughs> Do not go back to 1700 light, just up to 1200. Yeah, because this has been dark adapt for quite some time. We don't want to burn, photo bleach the leaf. <laughs> okay, what you're trying to do now is be exactly much like um survey measurement tadi. The moment it has stabilized, you press the lock, then you will get the second um fluorescence measurement, which is this guy. Tadi only dark like adapt ni kan tak ada data. Uh, now you need to wait for stability under light. That's why it's called light adapt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the the moment the moment dia macam dah uh, sedikit uh, relax, it's not spiking 45 degree. You can increase the light another 100 to 200 micromole. Some plants di cepat tau macam padi. We only need like three, four minutes. It's never turned out okay. I don't know. This plant, uh, it's kind of like proper 300. Two that's table. Two in the case, uh, the strategy. Come on, strategy. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Okay, How's this group doing? Increasing, okay. What's the photosynthesis rate now? Light reading? 800, okay. Okay, wait for this stabilize, then only you increase the light. Usually the plants take about 10 minutes uh, minimum. Most plants, except rice. Rice is a bit 
uh, quicker. Yeah, ten minutes. Uh, no, 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 10 minutes for the whole from zero back to the original um, saturating light intensity. So if you are confident, they are stabilized, you can increase uh, maybe 100 Ruger. Uh, plan. How's this group doing? What's, what's the light? 700. The reading? What's the seven. Seven. Okay. Now, did I relax too? You can actually increase the stratus now. But the, the moment they relax, you can start to increase. Yeah, you don't increase if the increment 45 degree diagonal. Maksudnya, pokok tu still tak uh, biasa lagi. The moment they dah relax sikit, you can increase a bit, a bit more. What, what's your photosynthesis now? Five. Five. Okay, light? 900. Dah, dah dah stable? Naik. Boleh je naik. Your, your goal is 1200. Don't don't expect a photosynthesis to be much because this plant is fruiting. Kan? By, by this point, both group you should have positive stomatal conductance. It shouldn't be negative. Kalau negative, something not right somewhere. Is it positive? Your stomatal conductance, GSW? Okay, positive. This group, your stomatal conductance, is it positive? Positive, that's, that's fine. During light accl uh, acclimatization, it's normal for the stomata to struggle to open. But as you approach closer to the final light set point, it should be positive now. So since it's positive, that's good. This group as well. Okay, kalau dah confident boleh naik lagi sampai 1200, then wait. The moment it has stabilized the pattern similar to your survey measurement lesson, press lock. You press lock, then you will get the um, second reading for the 5 PS2 column. That's my enforcer for a week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude, okay. Oh, what, like now? Uh, like your uh, survey measurement, let's say you can lock. lock. The longer you live, surely it's going to go up. The, the plant is living thing, it's going to acclimate. Yep. Kalau dah stabilize, sebenarnya dah boleh lock dah. Tapi before lock, open the uh, fluorescent chart tadi. Go to fluorometry, go to computation. Ah, ni kan? Sekarang kan tak ada reading. Sebab tak buat lagi. Uh, tadi buat dark adapt aja. Now is the light adapt. Uh, press lock. See what happens. Uh, see? Not only that you get the photosynthesis reading, but you get the 5 PS2 now. So this group they have done. Uh, so as you can see that. The 5 PS2 is 0 0.07, meaning that the efficiency only 7%. Uh, bye. <laughs> and the electron transport rate is about 38, which is quite, quite, quite laju juga. 
Sebab mungkin pokok ni dia under story type kot. Hmm. Selalu under story type dia ni. Is it? Uh, yeah. um, wheat. Wheat. Tu wheat. Bukan bukan tanaman. <laughs> kalau kalau jagung macam tu, risau lah. <laughs> wheat, 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 wheat. Wheat that's normal actually. Uh, kalau dah stabilize at 1200, lock saja. Uh, let's see what happen. Dah. Uh, berapa dapat? 0. Point. Okay, uh, this group, if you want to see tanaman punya 5 PS2, tengok group ni. Come. Uh, 20% lebih dia punya efficiency. Uh, 25% sot? 0. Yep. Uh, radiation efficiency memang rendah untuk pokok. Me me memang, me me memang, 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 memang rendah. Hmm, itu mungkin sebab dia grow kat dalam uh, plant factory kot. Is it plant factory? Kalau kalau plant factory, dia tak ada UV and everything. So, the system is more effective. Ni pokok daripada luar ni. Environmental aggressors. So, uh, tanaman di ladang selalunya sekitar 30%, 30 ke 40%. Kan? Ini sebenarnya patutnya live lama lagi 25% tu kira pokok ni sihat lah Dah lah cili tu ada baby Dah ada buah <laughs> Alright Okay now uh, quickly before you go to lunch I I I I I Okay <laughs> 125 Dia banyak phosphate <laughs> Okay, let's quickly uh, interpret five minutes before you go to for your lunch break. So what have just happened is during the dark adaptation, you managed to get your FVFM, which is your maximum quantum yield. 0 0.82 means the leaf that you are working with is able to capture 82% of photons coming toward it, the incident light. Right. What happened to the 18%? Vomit out in the form of fluorescence. And that's what the mission capture and tell you the information here. A dark is the, actually this is the uh, assimilation rate. The reason is negative because chloroplast not doing any job, but mitochondria is in charge. Minus 3.38. This is the mitochondrial doing. So this is the respiration rate. Okay. Dark respiration. Qmax is the flash given. You give the flash, remember, you, you, when you press the lock, there's a flash. This is the flash given, about 8,000 micromole. Right. And then you uh, turn on back the light progressively from low intensity to high intensity, all the way to 1,200. And then you again press lock. That will automatically go under light adapter. For light adapt, you get another set of parameters to tell the efficiency of the photosystem. For one, you get your uh, 5 PS2. For this plant, it's only 7% efficient, meaning that from the captured photon, only 7% is used to run photochemistry. Right? And for the ETR, this is the speed of the electron transport around 38. MPQ is the heat dissipation, heat release. And the other things, uh, this is the regular uh, assimilation that you get from, from the uh, survey measurement as well. Right. Okay. What about this? I suggest even though the machine giving you this, just ignore this because this is for dark pulse. Dark pulse, I'm not going to change. You want, you want to learn? Come again next year. Okay. Because because this requires further uh, ni, uh, explanation about the cyclic and non-cyclic uh, photophosphorylation. Okay? Alright? Okay. That's all for the fluorescence um, measurement. Okay? Any question? Any question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Respiration. Transpiration. Pokok berpeluh. Respirasi. Cellular respiration. Okay. So the good thing about this is you automatically got your survey measurement. Tak tak? This thing 
A ni is actually your regular survey measurement. Nampak tak? So, if you do the planning correctly, you can finish one day, let's say that you, you want to make your life easier, um, half a day, you finish all the adapt. Because that's very quick, right? remember? You did just now, very quick, right? Pop, 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 done. Then, after you are done, you allow your plants to go back to the light, let them acclimate using sunlight, and then you come back later to do this. Right, because you can trace back the file. So you can mesh the file now. Yep. No, no. The, the sun does the job for you. Yep, yep. Let, let some, let some, let the sun waking up your plant cells. Because you are being very nice using like to waking it out. Kan dia macam slow kan? Uh, why? Because there's no cosmic ray in there. Uh, the sunlight got all the heaven's light. Uh, let the UV do the spanking for you. Right. Okay. Got it. Okay. So, uh, that's all for now. Then you can do for, uh, go for your lunch. If you, if you want to take measurement, tu ada banyak kan nak ambil, ambil dah waktu rest ni. <coughs> Uh, apa dia? Lab measurement? Lab measurement maksudnya? Oh, itu survey. Survey. Kalau kalau lab adaption, that's why I said, if you want to make your life easier, you don't want to use machine to acclimate your plant, settle your dark adapt, like my, what my student used to do. Pukul 4 pagi, dia bangun tahajud, dia sudahkan sampai 7 pagi. Then, the sun comes up, right? They let the sun to wake up the plant. Pukul, then, pukul 9, they do the light adapt. Dalam masa 6 jam, settle semua kerja. 50 pokok. Ha, tapi, ya, itu bijak lah. Dia kan bijak sebab, sebab aku marah dia. Betul-betul terpandai. <laughs> okay. Okay. The, the danger is, if you do the... Uh, light adapt in the afternoon or in the evening, you might get less photosynthesis underestimate because pokok tu dah macam uh, tak nak, tak nak, nak pagi, nak pagi hmm. alright, ok boleh, uh, dah buka lampu tak boleh dekat gelap lampu nanti orang datang, ni buat apa ni <laughs> ok any question you can ask, ok, I'll be here so I'll see you back pukul 2 then we will do the response curve. Okay, you can have your lunch. Uh, pergi rehat. Thank you.